Matt White, a 30-year-old with a degree in music business, was on a routine shopping trip to a Kroger store when he was approached by Choni Black, a 16-year-old with an extraordinary story. Choni had traveled by bus from his neighborhood to what he called the Rich People's Kroger, hoping to find someone willing to exchange food for a bit of work. When he approached Matt, he offered to carry his groceries in exchange for a pack of glazed donuts. It was a simple request, but behind it was a much larger need. Choni, hungry and humble, had no idea that this encounter would soon change his life. Matt was immediately struck by Choni's demeanor. The teenager appeared nervous but determined. It was clear to Matt that Choni had faced many rejections that day. Despite his challenging circumstances, Choni was polite and articulate, explaining that he wanted to help his disabled mother, Barbara, who was struggling to make ends meet. Their refrigerator was empty, and they had no beds, only sleeping bags on the floor. Intrigued and moved by Choni's story, Matt decided to do more than just buy him donuts. He took Choni back into the store, and together they filled a cart with essentials like cereal, pasta, fruit, and toiletries. As they shopped, Choni shared more about his life. He was a straight A student who dreamed of owning his own business one day. Despite their hardships, he remained optimistic and determined to improve their situation. After purchasing the groceries, Matt offered Choni a ride home so he wouldn't have to carry the heavy bags on the bus. When they arrived at Choni's home, Matt was shocked by the conditions. The small house in South Memphis was nearly empty. With just a couple of lamps and no furniture, meeting Barbara, Matt learned more about their situation. Barbara was frail and suffered from a condition that made it difficult for her to move around. The family was living in poverty surviving on Barbara's disability checks. Despite these challenges, Barbara had instilled in Choni the importance of education and hard work. Determined to help, Matt decided to share Choni's story. He set up a GoFundMe page called Choni's Chance, initially aiming to raise $250 for a lawnmower so that Choni could start a lawn care business. Donations poured in, quickly surpassing the initial goal. The campaign raised over $340,000, far beyond what anyone had anticipated. People from all walks of life contributed, sending not only money, but also food, clothing, and offers of dental care. Thanks to the kindness of people, Choni and Barbara were able to move into a new home in a safer neighborhood. They furnished their new residence and filled their once empty refrigerator. In addition to meeting their immediate needs, the fund secured Choni's future with a fully paid college education. Now he has the opportunity to pursue his dream of owning a business. Choni, who used to offer to carry groceries for donuts, now has the foundation to build a better life for himself and his mother. Throughout this journey, Matt remained humble, emphasizing that the focus should be on Choni's story rather than his own role in it. This friendship, which began from a chance meeting at a grocery store, became a testament to the power of kindness and the support from a complete stranger.